Hello YouTube, this is Thompson Area 737 and just doing a quick video uh, based on well we're based on sort of like an update for my model airport. Not an update on my model airport, um, because obviously as you can see I've got my computer here. I'm in my computer room upstairs. Uh, obviously my airport's downstairs. Um but yeah I just wanted to quickly show you a shot. Um of the Thompson 787 that I took. Um, the lighting probably isn't that good. Um, but I don't know if you guys will be interested. Um, if I get a few comments on this video saying that you want me to post, maybe like do like a video um, for screenshots, uh, for photos, should I say, uh, of what I've taken of the 787. I've took photos of. Um, both A and B, uh, when I say A and B, I mean uh, Golf, Tango, Uniform, India, Alpha, and Golf, Tango, Uniform, India, Bravo. Um, IA, uh, India, Alpha, is named Living the Dream, and um, India, Bravo, is named Alpha, um, which I found a bit weird because I thought Alpha might have gone with uh India Alpha better because of the A, you know, A representing Alpha. Not really sure where Alpha came from it in the first place anyway. Um, um India C will be named um Dream Maker and India Delta will be named Spirit of Britannia. Um the sp uh, in India Delta um Spirit of Britannia, I think that's the best name. Um I do like the name Live in the Dream. I think that is quite good. Um but the spirit of Britannia to actually name an aircraft of that, um, seeing as Thompson did originate from Britannia, that whoever thought of that is just uh, you know, I I would like applause them for that name because um that is just incredible. Um that like for me personally it is, um because obviously I'm a massive Tui fan. Being a fan of Britannia ways um Ever since Robin Hood opened, because Britannia did actually operate into Doncaster um, with certain aircraft. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that shot. It's my desktop background uh, for the minute. Uh, when I take more shots, I will be doing a video as well, uh, hopefully. Um, the next. Due, well, we are having this aircraft in for training um, uh, for cabin crew. Um, it comes from Manchester to Cardiff, then it goes to Presswick, then it goes to Shannon, then it comes to Doncaster, then it will go back to Cardiff, then back to Manchester. Um, that was last happened on the eighth, and it's ne that just next due in on the sixteenth. However, they are doing flights in between, uh, touch and go flights, um, like training flights for the actual pilots. Uh, doing touch and goes at Doncaster, so hopefully I'll get a video of that. Um, I'll, try, I'll try my best, and just to give you like an idea of where where my house is. This was actually taken from my back garden, uh, which is just down there. Um, but if you look, if I put in the camera that camera that way, the airport is basically just over there. Um, obviously, it's not like close close it's I don't know I don't know how many miles it is but it's not as exactly, a you know like behind them houses um, but you know it's it's quite a bit away when the you can see most departures uh, like the other day I got some snapshots so uh, with this camera that I'm recording with um, of a uh, E3 century I just happened to look out it's a sunny day and you can see aircraft in the circuit um, you know, so I don't live like miles away, but I do live uh, close. I do live close enough to actually see, tr you know, gen the general traffic of what departs. Um, departures usually on zero two. Um, I do get the odd aircraft coming over, heading north, and then they'll bank round onto two zero. Um, but obviously, that's that's quite rare for them to do that. But yeah, um, obviously it's quite cloudy outside, but yeah, um, 
another thing I just want to quickly move on uh, I'm gonna try and keep this video short um, but I've just got a small update for my mod for my model I bought um, and I've started doing schedules um, I started yesterday so that's why it starts with Tuesday I will be adding Monday uh, at the top now I don't know about you guys but I normally start the week with Sunday so I probably will start with Sunday or I might just have the week obviously it's the weekend so it ends the week um, but anyway so so far I've done two, Tuesday and Wednesday I haven't actually finished Wednesday off yet uh, but I'll just quick, quick go through Tuesday with you um, see I've got the flight numbers here these aren't real world flight numbers I've just generated the numbers uh, using random.org but I've actually looked at real world numbers and seen what they actually start with to give me an idea of what could be then the times um, I'm using open office and it's actually get added these two zero uh, two zeros on the end not really fussed about that uh, then you've got the origin destination for those of you who don't know origin is where it's coming from destination is where it's going to remarks basically just outbound or inbound and then the air aircraft which also helps me place the aircraft on so I'm not sort of thinking oh what aircraft shall I put on today uh, when I'm doing the schedule updates um, you know and then like this I've got Honor Air uh, basically that's for the A300 um, which is like we like what we're having this year at Doncaster Honor Air are scheduled in for Thomas Cook flights so I'm sort of using that idea then I've got a um, lot Polish Airlines uh, using 737500 um, off to Warsaw that's going to be sort of like what we have at Doncaster also with Wizz Air they come in late schedules as you can see arrival is 20.55 or 8.55 um, and then uh, these all these times are um, GMT Greenwich Mean Time uh, so if you are in the UK um, currently you will add one hour for British summer time um, obviously if you're international then it will be this time um, you know as a standard time it will be these times but like I say if you're in Britain then it will be plus an hour you know um, but yeah um, so 8 uh, 9.30 departure that's just obviously that's just one um, aircraft. At Doncaster we have like four Wizz Airs coming later on in the evening. Obviously I've got to make do with what I've got. And then these here, I've got the 787, uh, Thompson 787 uh, and the Virgin. They are off, both off to Orlando. Um, now I've put them there so for the next scheduled day I actually know where to put them. Uh, which first one not hard 2 a.m. in the morning first schedule of the day basically um, the I haven't really thought about the opening times but what I'm thinking is the airport will close at 10 then it will reopen at 1 o'clock in the morning uh, obviously it's got to allow time for that aircraft to come in uh, and then that will actually depart later again at the same time that it, they those two flights the Virgin and the Thompson 787 uh, will be uh, daily schedules so they will be used like every single day of the week um, and then base aircraft basically uh, I've got three airlines as base airlines Thompson the e EasyJet and Virgin I've got the 737 800 757 200 7 Eight seven to eight hundred for the Thompson, <coughs> for Thompson should I say, and then EasyJet have two A three twenties that they will base, and Virgin just a Boeing seven four seven four hundred at the minute. Uh, I will be looking to get more Virgin aircraft, because um, obviously I I'd, I wanted to have a an international sort of like flight, um, international airline should I say, like a big carrier, um, you know so. Um, so yeah obviously I will be getting more hopefully we'll be getting more airlines slash models in the future some such as like Delta Airlines um, US Airways uh, PIA uh, Pakistan International and uh, Emirates as well I'm I'm looking for, I've 
I'm extremely excited about getting an Emirates 777 if I can get one. Um, obviously, I don't know when that will be. Um, I'm, but like I say, I'm sure I'll get one eventually. Um, just to point out as well, Honor Air, like I say, the Honor Air is standing in for Thomas Cook as it does at Doncaster. I'm sort of using real world airports schedules as like um, something to back up this, what I'm doing, you know. Uh, and obviously I've put mine travel there. I've got the A330-300. Obviously we, you don't see a mine travel in the real world now. You don't see, you wouldn't see a mine travel A330 or an A330 in mine travel colours. Um, but you know, I think it's good to, I do like, I have several airlines, uh, or liveries should I say, that are now gone, uh, but I want to keep them going in this sort of scale world. Um, but yeah, that's what, that's what I've been doing for these past two days. Tuesday schedules are starting on Tuesday, uh, yesterday, and Wednesday I started today. I might get them done by, I don't know, it... To be honest, it can be a bit annoying at times when you've got to, you know, think about the times, what you're doing, where they're coming from, uh, all that stuff. But um, I do hope. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's all I can say. To be honest, I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, may have another video soon regarding a few questions. Um, but there is one question that I just want to ask: Does anyone know what's going off with the? Uh, AR Aviation Retail direct orders regarding the Thompson 737-800 because I haven't heard anything. Uh, I've noticed that it's now available uh, in other stores um, on eBay and other places and ARD haven't mentioned anything to me regarding when it will be released. Uh, we're now into June. I think, I'm sure it's supposed to be released in uh, May after it was delayed a month. So yeah if someone could actually please just uh, answer that then that would be appreciated obviously if you can't then you know, i guess we're all stuck um but yeah thanks for watching this guys i uh, hope this has been sort of like an interesting video f for you to watch um but yeah uh, please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching once again uh and i'll see you in the next video bye